Hi, good day everyone. I'm Daniel Subandaragan and I am currently here in Iloilo City, Philippines. Um, representing Youth React of Philippines and our 90 day initial challenge goal is to gather at least 300 participants for the annual event that we hold every year which is the Philippine Eco Festival. Our mission in our organization is to continuously create sustainable innovative programs for the welfare of our environment and for the community and of course uh, we wanted to intensively promote environmental awareness among young individuals here in the country and educate them about environmental uh, problems and solutions what was your experience during the 90 days my experience is the same as from the previous years that we conduct or hold the philippine festival but I think this is the most memorable one because it's pandemic and we hold everything via virtual conferencing. For the volunteering activities, I think that's the most challenging part because your fellow leaders are far from each other. You are here in Iloilo City, the other are in Bacolod City. We are actually see apart. So we need to travel by sea in order to see each other but since it's pandemic it is impossible for us and i think because of pandemic wherever you are we could still able to see each other and conduct this momentous event for the environment we actually hold it uh, during november because november here in the philippines is the national environmental awareness month team members, how many members at the start. So the start and the end, you see the usual number, which is 39 members. How many partnerships did you develop? Actually, we have 10 partners and we are very happy that we have them on board during the, the Philippine Eco Festival and we are thankful and of course for their contribution for the invaluable contribution for the successful initiative on environmental awareness. We were able to gather more than 300 and actually have 487 funds. And with that, they are actually cascaded into 10 activities. Since we are doing it via virtual conferencing, we were able to reach uh, a lot of engagement via social uh, networks and on average we have every activity we have 1000 plus views a lot different from previous years of the Philippine Eco Festival we were able to really engage a lot of people and I think we are going to continue that kind of approach we still going to have an online or virtual conferencing next year and of course the physical cap because it's the most anticipated event for, for the Philippine Eco Festival. What parts of the challenge are most helpful? I think the most helpful tool, of course, the virtual conferencing and and the mentoring part, and of course the book and the workbook of the climate challenge a book. Because of the book, we were able to really have a well-planned event and and because of the book of course we were able to really uh, segregate and uh, designate responsibilities for the leaders and for the general accountability support and structure of course uh, structure is still uh, the best tool where we are able to understand each one's um, our responsibilities and obligations you know, in every activity in the Philippine Eco Festival what are your next steps? Our next steps is, uh, of course, conduct post-activity report where we evaluate our our event, where we assess every activities that we have, and then find uh, new ways to implement it, find new structures to implement it. And of course, we're still going to use the climate challenge book of Joan Gregerson because it's very helpful. So how can people support you or join you? Actually, every event we have adverts or posters that we usually post on our social uh, Facebook 
official page and we have instructions there on how they are they going to join events with us or either volunteering or as leader for the activity so they just have to visit our official facebook page page which is youth prayer to philippines and message us there and of course they can reach us at, at gmail.com what is your advice for others who want to make an impact if you guys no, environmental leaders believe uh, in your actions that can uh, bring impact to the community to your community don't hesitate to start uh, speak your voice let your voice be heard let your ideas and let your actions be an inspiration to others and of course uh, don't stop doing environmental actions i know it's hard but doing it little by little we can really save what i can preserve our own home which is earth and once again thank you very much for the chance of sharing our initiative to the whole world and hope that through our initiative we could be able to inspire a lot of young leaders young environmental leaders around the world and we are actually envision that everyone every young leader in the world is doing the same actions that we are doing for the welfare of our environment thank you